I'm not doing that again. The kid can find her own damn loose change. Doesn't want a hug? I can't use the phone. I can't touch the thing. Hey there. Nobody that old should move that fast. Just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Joey, she could see you. How could she do that? I don't know. But I think this case just got a hell of a lot more complicated. Fantastic. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Well, this is it. Yep. All's quiet so far. The gate is locked. I can't get through. I don't think so. I'll leave that where it is. I don't need to go up Lexington. All right, I'm going in to check it out. Stay close to the wall. Yeah, sure. Let me know what you find. Hello? Anyone here? Ah. Well, what do you see? Is it clean? I'm afraid not. Well, hurry up then. I feel stupid pressed up against this wall. Trying to get rid of me, will they? Hey there! Huh? Could someone be there? Of course not. No one would be so rude as to enter without knocking. I said, hey there! No, no. Nobody there. Door is locked and barred. Nobody could get in. Just look at me, why don't you? I know you can see me. No. Visitors must knock or ring the bell. That's the way it's done. Um, knock knock? What? <sighs> Nobody is there. The door is still closed and bolted. I'll be back. Friggin' spooks. Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? How's it going on the outside? Oh, it's a thrill a minute out here. Like a day at the circus. Miss me? Yeah, sure. Like I miss toe fungus. I need you to do something. What? Hop on one leg. What? Why? I'll explain later. Just do it. Okay. What did that accomplish? <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. I hate you so much. Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? I need you to do something. Hmm. It better be good. Knock on the gate door. Knock on the door? Why? I'll explain later. Just do it. A knock. Oh my! A visitor! Uh, just a minute! Is my hair okay? It'll have to do. Hello? Hello, miss. Hello? Can I help you? I'm Joey Malone, miss. Well, Mr. Malone, to what do I owe the pleasure? What's your name? 
Excuse me? Your name? My name is on the door. If you don't know who I am, then why are you here? I'm a bit lost. Can you tell me where I am? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Are you looking for a specific apartment or... Apartment? You mean we're inside a building? Yes. Are you feeling all right, mister? You're not in a building, lady. Take a look around. I don't know what you're talking about. We're on the third floor. Look, there's the elevator down the hall. Ah, right. Yeah, I see it. Are you sure you're feeling all right? I have something to tell you. Oh? There's no delicate way to put this. You're dead. Pardon me? Dead and buried. You're a ghost haunting a wasteland. You're unbalanced. Tell me what you want before I call the police. You're not in a building, lady. What are you talking about? We're on the ground. We're outside. You, sir, need glasses. Look at the door. It says D, clear as day. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? I live next door. You do? Which room? Uh, for E? No, you don't. You're not fooling me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I told you all before, I am not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Goodbye. What do you want me to do? Blow on it? Not much I can do with that. Even if I wanted to stick my head inside, which I don't, it would be too dark to see anything. Can't do anything with that. I can't take the sign. There's not much I can do with that except look at it. Let's take a look-see. It says Seagram Realty. I guess they're the guys who own this construction outfit. Cheap material. I want nothing to do with it. Just a bunch of drawers. Just a fan. I can't make heads or tails out of this thing. Hmm. The name under the picture is Farrah Fawcett. I wonder if she likes dead guys. Just to keep up appearances, I think I'll use the door. Let's take a look-see. So, is it all taken care of? Not yet, dear. Slacker.
There's a phone number, but no address. Hello? Is this Harriet Sherman? Who is this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. What do you want? I could really use your help. Help? Why should I help you? Why should I help anybody? Nobody's ever done me any favors. Goodbye. Don't call back. Hello? It's me again. You? I thought I told you not to call. Yeah, I know. Please, just listen. I was hoping I could help you. What? You selling something? No, I'm... I've told you a million times. No. I don't need any insurance. I'm not... Gotta go. My stories are off. Don't call back. No, wait. It's me again. You? I thought I told you not to call. Yeah, I know. Please, just listen. I'm calling from Seagram Realty. Oh, why didn't you say? You've got my $60. Uh, yes, yes, I do. But before I give it to you, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Fine, fine, fine. Come on by and I'll answer whatever you want. 24 Rector, down in Battery Park City. Just buzz up. So, Joey. Yeah? Got any spare cash on you? Sorry. Left my wallet in my other pants. Probably the pair I was buried in. Hmm. The things I'll do for a case. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. It's open! I'm back here in the kitchen! Harriet? Mrs. Sherman, if you don't mind. You from Seagram Realty? Yes. Have you got my money? I wanted to ask you a few questions first. You're welcome to ask me anything you'd like, after you give me the money. You got it? I sure do. It's about time. Give it here. Here you go. Hmm. It's all here, sure enough. I'd say thanks if I hadn't had to fight tooth and nail to get it. What teeth, you old bat? Don't worry about it. Oh, I won't. Now, you wanted to ask me something? So tell me about yourself. Me? What do you want to know? Your name came up during an investigation I'm working on. Investigation? Don't you work for Seagram Realty? Not exactly. Ah. You just use them as a way to get to me, huh? Yes. Is that a problem? Oh, not at all. Just don't expect your money back. She's all heart. What can you tell me about the construction site on 53rd Street? You've been there? How's the old place looking? It's a big hole in the ground. Ha! Can only be an improvement. I used to live there. Then Seagram Realty bought it and tore it down. Going to build something new and fancy, no doubt. They kicked you out of your own home? No big loss. The place was a dump. Plus, they wanted it so badly that they paid most of us a monthly stipend just to leave. Pretty generous, actually. I can almost forgive them for nearly robbing me. So they paid you money to leave? Yep. Like I said, it was a pretty generous deal. 
building was about to be condemned anyway, so everyone was grateful for the offer. Well, everyone except for Mavis Wilcox. Can you tell me anything else about your old building? Good riddance is what I say. I lived on the third floor. Everyone on the street could see me. I like my new place much better. Can you tell me anything else about your old building? Good riddance is what I say. I lived on the third floor. Everyone on the street could see me. I like my new place much better. Who is Mavis Wilcox? A lunatic is what she was. She lived down the hall from me, so I know how crazy she was. Why was she crazy? She refused to leave is why. Seagram was offering her a fortune, but still she refused. Why did Mavis refuse to leave? She was a lunatic. I believe I already established this. A total shut-in. The prospect of leaving her little apartment terrified her. I'm old and feeble. If I could manage the move, she could have. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Did they ever get Mavis to leave? Oh, you could say that. Yes, you could definitely say that. She left all right. Left the entire world, in fact. You mean she died? Yes. Someone broke in and choked her to death. Right in the apartment she loved so much. I'd call it ironic if it weren't so tragic. Did they ever find out who killed Mavis? No. Some street kid, most likely, thought the building was empty and went in to steal whatever was left over. Didn't count on anyone being there. Bumped into Mavis, then had to kill her. Happens all the time. How well did you know Mavis? Like I said, I lived just down the hall from her, on the third floor. I didn't know her well, but she did get some mail just before they smashed the place up. I took it, just in case a relative or something came looking. But it's been six months, and nothing. Do you still have Mavis's things? Yes, I do. Such as they are. There wasn't much, just that envelope on the counter. Could I look at it? You knew Mavis? Sort of, yes. Well, you might as well take a look at them. Nobody else has come looking. Thanks. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. There's not much in here, just a photograph and a letter. That's her. That's the ghost at the construction site. So our ghost's name is Mavis Wilcox. I bet the farm on it. This kid doesn't look too happy to be with Mavis. That's her. Definitely the lady at the site. He's wearing a Columbia University sweatshirt. Let's get out of here. Right behind you.
Yes. Twice in one evening. Come on in, sit down. Did you know Mavis Wilcox? Miss Wilcox? Yes, I remember her. Lived uptown a ways before she died. How did you know her? I wanted to write a piece about her, so I met her for a spell. Interesting woman. How did you know her? I'm looking into her death. I see. I get the impression she didn't get out much. That's an understatement. I got in touch with her through a colleague who was covering that demolition. I wondered what made a woman like that tick, so I made an appointment to meet with her. What was she like? A very gracious woman. Brought me in, made me a cup of tea, showed me pictures of a family. All in all, it was a pleasant way to spend an afternoon. What happened to her? Killed, so they say. Was found choked to death in her own apartment. Any thoughts on who did it? Well, there were rumors that the labor union decided to take matters into their own hands, as it were. But I doubt that. The police ruled it was some squatter or drifter or something, and left it at that. And what do you think? Me? I have no theory. Why did you want to write about her? I found her fascinating. She was asked to leave. She was begged to leave. She was even offered lots of money to leave. But she kept refusing. She was too scared. I had to know why. And what did you discover? That, Miss Blackwell, is the eternal question. I've spoken to hundreds of people over the years. Most of them were odder than Mavis. It's impossible to decipher the whys and the hows. As time went on, I've contended myself just with the what's. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? I'm afraid I've told you everything. Do you know anything about a strange old woman wandering the streets? I've met plenty of strange old women, Miss Blackwell. Some stranger than others. Can you give me some more details? She calls herself the Countess. Mr. Mitchell? I'm thinking. No. I can safely say I've never set eyes on this woman. I'm sorry. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon. Tell me about yourself. Yes, I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. I'm afraid I'd make a poor interview subject. I'd like to read your piece about Mavis. I'm afraid I no longer have it. Do you know what issue it was in? I'd like to look it up. I never published it. I was going to, but then Mavis died and it just seemed wrong somehow. I don't even have the rough copies anymore. I'm sorry. I think that's all for now. Alright. You have a good night now. Closed, locked, and barred. I'm not getting in this way. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. Another visitor? Oh, you again. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? It's me. Your son. Sam? Yep, that's me. Sam! It's been so long. Look at you! Yeah, look at me. Sorry, I was so rude. I almost didn't recognize you. Come on in, Sam. I'll make you dinner. Ah, uh, no, I, I can only stay for a minute. I have some questions I need to ask you. Of course, Sam. So, Mom, how's it going? Oh, you know me, Sam. It's tough living here on my own. But I get by. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, Mom, 
I need you to think very carefully. What's the last thing you remember? What do you mean? Answering the door and seeing you, of course. And before that? Nothing. You know nobody comes here. Except for the grocer, sometimes. And that... That who? Nobody. So, Mom, how are my brothers and or sisters? That's not funny, Sam. You know you're an only child. Right, just checking. How's Dad, Mom? Oh, Sam, you know that your father is dead. John Durkin died years ago. Ah, right. Sorry. Mom, look around carefully. Are you sure that you're at home? You're so confusing, Sam. Look at the door. It says D, clear as day. I'm going to go now, Mom. I'll come back to visit you soon. Sure, Sam. I'll be here. My home. So how's your new friend? Oh, just dandy. If John Durkin was Sam's father, it's only logical that Sam's last name would be Durkin. There's no entry for that. Columbia University. Here's the number. Direct your call. How about Sam Durkin? Is there a Sam Durkin listed? Sam Durkin, yes. Hold, please. It's about time. Durkin. Is this Sam? Yeah. Who's this? My name is Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping to ask you a few questions about your mother. Oh. Questions, huh? Yeah. All right. I'll bite. How do you know my mom? I was her neighbor. You used to live in that dump? Yeah. And you knew Mavis? Very well. You actually talked to her? Yeah, all the time. Where, in the hallway? Why all the questions? Because I don't believe you. Whether you believe me or not, it can't hurt to talk to me. Maybe. Maybe not. But if you knew her, you know what apartment number she was in. I would? Sure you would. She never left the damn place. So what was it? Alright, so maybe you did know her. Thank you. So what do you want to know about it? What do you know about her death? It was suicide. She killed herself? Not literally, but it was like she chose to die. She had every opportunity to leave. They were going to pay her and find her a new place and everything. I tried to get her out, but... That's my mom. She couldn't be dragged out of that dump by anybody or anything. Do you know who killed her? She was killed by some junkie, wasn't she? So they say. You think different? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, good luck to you. How close were you with your mother? Close. Think of the farthest place you can and add another 10,000 miles. That's how close we were. Woman wasn't a mother, just crazy on wheels. 
Did Mavis ever leave her apartment? Never. Not once in the last 15 years. You don't seem upset by her death. Upset? Sure, she was my mom. But am I going to lose sleep? No. She drove my pop out of the house and into an early grave. I once thought I'd follow in his footsteps, but not anymore. The woman didn't go anywhere. Never did anything. She was killing me just by existing. Now I feel like I can breathe again. That's the truth. What was it like living with her? You kidding? I lived with my pot. After three years of marriage, he had enough. Glad he had the sense to take me with him. And after your father died? I got by. You never visited your mother? Yeah, I visited her on Mother's Day, if that's what you want to know. Even got her a present once. Really? Yeah, for all the good it did. What did you give your mom for Mother's Day? I don't think that's any of your business, lady. It's been years. Just dust in the ground now. Bye, Sam. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Yes? I'm becoming darn right popular. Come in, have a seat. Do you know anything about John Durkin, Mavis' ex-husband? Oh yeah, she did talk about him. Broke her heart, she said. I know they divorced very early in the marriage and he died several years later, but I'm afraid I know nothing else. Do you know anything about John Durkin, Mavis' ex-husband? Oh yeah, she did talk about him. Broke her heart, she said. I know they divorced very early in the marriage and he died several years later, but I'm afraid I know nothing else. Do you know anything about Sam, Mavis' son? I'm afraid not. Mavis discussed her son and seemed proud of him, but I don't think they see each other. I've never met the boy myself. Did Mavis ever mention a gift or present from her son? Now that you mention it, yes. She showed me a leather-bound edition of Alice in Wonderland and said it was from her son. Alice in Wonderland? Yes, by Lewis Carroll. Yeah, I've heard of it. I think that's all for now. All right. You have a good night now. I'm going in again. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Did I leave the gas on? Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. My. I'm popular today. Oh, hello, Sam. Hi, Mom. Do you know a guy named John Durkin? Is that a joke, Sam? You know he's been dead for ten years. Ah, uh, sorry. How can you forget? He was your father! Slip my mind. Slip your mind? Just, look, forget it. So what can you tell me about... me? You're so confusing, Sam. Never mind. Hey, Mom. Do you have that present I gave you? Which present was that? The book. Alice in Wonderland. Of course I still have it. It was the only Mother's Day gift you ever bought me, Sam. Can I see it? Whatever for. Come on, Ma. I just want to see it. Sure, Sam. It's right on the table. Great. Uh, why don't you bring it out here? You mean, pick it up? Yeah, pick it up and bring it over. Pick it up. 
Sure, I can pick it up. Oh! Oh no! What? The book, it's gone! Gone, huh? Imagine that. Somebody stole it! Sam, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay, Mom. Okay? Okay? I lost your gift! You need to find that book, Mom. I don't know if I can love a mother who loses my gifts. You don't mean that! I mean it, Mom. You need to tell me where the book is. But... I don't know where to look. Maybe it's under the sofa. No, it's not there. In the bathroom. No, I never saw it in there. Maybe it's out here, Mom. In the hallway? Sure, in the hallway. Yeah, I'm sure it's out here. Come on out and help me look. Oh, okay, Sam. But only for you. I... I still don't see it anywhere. Let's try further down, Mom. I'm... I'm outside. Yeah, I knew you could do it, Mom. Mom? Sam? Sam, where are we? I'm scared. I'm right here. Mom, I need you to do something. What? Turn around. I can't. Sure you can. Just turn around and look behind you. Oh, where's the building? Where's my apartment? Where's my home? It's gone! Those bastards, they tore it down! You, you made me leave and they tore it down! Hey, calm down. I've got nothing now. Mom. I am not your mother. You are not my son. My son hates me. All I had left was my home, and then... Then I... Oh, God! Are you happy now? You couldn't just leave me there. You had to bring me out. You had to make me remember. I'm sorry. It's horrible. Being dead, it's horrible. You get used to it. I... I don't want to feel like this anymore. Everything is so dark and cold. Can I go home now? Sure. Sure, I can take you home. Just hold on to this. Over to you, kid. Right. I think that's the only home you've got now. I'm sorry. What a legacy. Husband gone and dead. My son hates my guts. My home is gone. My life, over. I remember that too. Dying, I mean. That old woman choking me. Old woman? She just came in and killed me. She said she was going to help me. <sighs> well, what now? The light, Mavis. Just head towards it. And then... I don't know. I'm scared, but it feels right somehow. Oh, John. Sam. I'm so sorry. For everything. I wish I could feel sorry for you. But I don't feel much of anything anymore. Best of luck, wherever you are. Exhausted. Call it a night? Sounds good to me. You. Like clockwork. You saved her! Yeah, sure we did. No thanks to you. We've got some questions for you, lady. Why did you kill Isaac and Mavis? I didn't kill them! I'm like you! You're nothing like us. We don't kill. I help spirits into the next world! 
like you. You mean you're a medium? Yes. But you can't be. I am like you. Wait, no. This doesn't make any sense. Why are you killing people? I save people. I don't hurt them. Get back here, stupid old hag. Let's get after her. God damn it. Your nose okay? That lamppost should not have been there.